Welcome to Keeping Up with the Langdons Retold. This is Michael Langdon. His destiny is twisted and filled with betrayal. He is the Antichrist. Now you may wonder, how did this unholy good-looking fellow with hair to die for come to be? Well, this is his story. This is Vivian Harmon, wife of Dr. Ben, cheating us, Harmon, and the mother of Violet Harmon. But, she is also the mother of the Antichrist. You may question how Dr. Ben Harmon could conjure up Satanistic semen to create the Antichrist. He didn't. This is Tate Langdon, the son of Constance Langdon who we will tell you about shortly. He was a dark boy TM, who ended up shooting up his school before causing his own death in the murder house. He is now a ghost, and he is also the boyfriend of Violet Harmon. This is where, you wonder, if he's the boyfriend of Violet Harmon how come the knocked Vivian Harmon up with Devil Spawn? Well, the murder house. This is as twisted a character, and its darkness affect the ones who lives within its walls. Tate felt sorry for one of the other ghosts that wanted a child of their own. So he loops himself into a rubber suit and rapes Vivian Harmon. Vivian Harmon then gets pregnant with Devil Spawn and Dr. Ben Harmon's child, twins. When Violet finds out this iconic scene happens. Don't do this. You're way too You're all I want. You're all I have. <laughs> now filled with the spawn of Satan and all the Satanistic juju that follows, Vivian Harmon gives birth in the horrible haunted death trap called The Murder House. Her first son dies but Michael Langdon lives. Vivian Harmon dies. Dr. Ben Harmon dies. Violet Harmon was dead for quite a while. The Harmons are now all dead and trapped in the murder house. Constance Langdon rises to the occasion and takes in baby Michael, believing him to be her chance of perfect motherhood because that can't go horribly wrong. Constance Langdon is the true mother of all. Now under her guidance Michael Langdon takes a note out of Constance's book and murders the help. He leaves her presence that makes her weep tears of utter joy. She takes up gardening. Overnight Michael Langdon has a satanistic growth spurt and grows 10 years. He is now a child in a teen body. Constance Langdon is shocked and calls for holy intervention, but like all the help in the Langdon family they wind up dead. Constance Langdon throws a fit, and Michael promises to get better. He just want to be loved but Constance is not having it. She tells how boy child is a monster and she throws him out. Michael doesn't know how to react but leaves broken hearted and in tears, left alone in this world. This would be the first of many heartbreaks and betrayals he would experience. Whoops guess I was wrong. He never learned to look both ways crossing the road. This is what happens kids. Look both ways crossing the road. And you shouldn't be watching American Horror Story where are your parents? Michael Langdon gets hit by the witch Mallory who are supposed to be light and good. She runs boy child over. Again and again and again just for good measure. Michael Langdon begs Constance to take him to the murder house. He is afraid of dying and wants to be with her. Constance takes the opportunity to be a the mother she always was and tells him. Go to hell. Michael Langdon is left alone and afraid. We guess Daddy Satan wasn't paying attention at this moment. Michael Langdon, the one true antichrist, the broken boy, the magnificent hair, dies. But not to worry. Daddy Satan has a contingency plan that doesn't involve bringing Michael Langdon back, or the unholy union between ghost and human because for some reason, they have the perfect genes for it I don't even know at his point like what the hell. We get discount Antichrist. Daddy Satan spend all his money on the first one. <laughs> this was keeping up with the Langdons retold. Everyone in the murder house is unhappy. Constance is alive I guess. Moria deserved better. Michael deserved a different ending, or even a good ending. The Langdons are now a dying bloodline with only Constance left. Thank you for watching.